the million dollars per player, a purse to incentivize maybe this potential 30-team tournament that the NBA is looking at having post-Thanksgiving. So what is the latest that you're hearing now from Vegas? Well, that's exactly it, uh, Maria. The league is talking with, you know, its teams and executives and owners and the Players Association. They need buy-in, uh, you know, both sides there. You know, to get a, a situation together where they believe if they incorporate this into the league calendar, that the star players in the league will want to be a part of that tournament, will want to be motivated to win it, and the thought now is $1 million per player on the winning team uh, as a reward. That's more than double what you'd win uh, for winning an NBA championship. Uh, but they have to sell you know, the elite players in the league on making this work because without their buy-in, this is a tough sell for a television audience for, for the league. Well, stay right there, Will, because I do want to get the guy's reaction on, okay, a million dollars per player if you win this tournament. Is that enough of an incentive for guys who are averaging $9 million a year? If you're a star, you're making four to five times that to play in this tournament. I think it needs to be more if you want to get the elite, elite players to play in that tournament. I mean, guys are making $200, $250 million over five years. So I, I understand what that does for the lesser tier, and it can still make for good basketball, but I don't know if that's necessarily going to rate the way they will want their partners to have these games rate. I mean, I don't know what to really think about an in-season tournament. This will be a one-game elimination tournament. I mean, at the end of the day, are they crowned what type of champion or what incentive? Like, what, what comes from this? Like, I mean, I know it's great for the game. It'd probably be good watch, must-watch TV because you can see all the different matchups in one game, but... Like, if I'm playing right now, and like you said, I'm making $250 million, I'm like, I need low management doing this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's basically a million dollars that you're playing for. You could potentially have five days off, but I think the idea behind it is increasing fan engagement, fan interest, okay. you know, right after things. I will have to hear more about it before I can really put a good endorsement toward it. A couple of things they should add and modify to it. Number one, it should be all cash. <laughs> and it should be in the building, <laughs> on the baseline. Yeah, People I like that. Different. I like that. <laughs> People behave uh, way different, different when cash is available. Uh -huh. No doubt about it. And the other thing, <laughs> each player on the losing team in a championship game should have to write or raise the money for their favorite charity. Okay. I like, well, I like that. that. I like right? that. I like that. To so back. now all of a sudden, the winning team gonna get 15, and the losing team gonna have to yeah. write a raise 15 for their favorite charity. So now what happens in the championship game? Both teams have charities rooting for them. Mm -hmm. So now you got to come through for your charity. I and like I said, what do you do with rest? When are you supposed to rest in? Like if you're, if you're trying to win a world championship. Like, if you have this in-season tournament, when do you get a chance to say, I need time to rest? Hall of Famer, tell him during the 82-game schedule when you're supposed to rest to win a championship. I saw you win a championship. Did you rest? No, I'm just saying no, but you, you rest I mean, guys don't even practice anymore. <laughs> time, I'm, no, I'm talking about during All-Star break. You, you still use that time to rekindle with your family and to relax to a certain this degree. Do you not? Okay, guys, well, we figured... Go ahead, Paul. It's just like, how many days would this take? You know, I mean, over the course of how many days would this tournament go? Um, and what part of the season? And do you take the number of games of the NBA from 82 down. So do you do all those things to make it necessary for this tournament? It's right after Thanksgiving, and it ultimately boiled down to just eight teams playing in a single elimination game. Eight those teams. eight teams that advance to okay. a single elimination Okay. Point. Okay, okay let's bring, the building. Let's bring Woj in back the into the conversation. We've had some of the answers on the way that the guys think that it could work, but Woj, how do you think that this plan could really be implemented and, and ultimately getting the executives and the players to buy into this tournament? Ultimately, having players buy in is going to force executives, owners to, you know, have their teams play at full strength and try to win it. One way that I think the league office could do it is forget about the star veteran players in the league and focus right now on the 25 and under stars in the league. Go out and sell this to the Giannis Antetokounmpo's, the Luka Doncic's, the Donovan Mitchell's. Bring those players through the league office with their agents and talk to them about the long-term ramifications of their buy-in in this tournament because it may impact them financially on future contracts. And forget about the next two or three years, the initial years of it, and look at the long play and, and get those younger players in the league, you know, selling it to the public, but more importantly, selling it to their owners and their GMs, because if those players tell their teams, this is important and I want to win this, 
those teams are going to respond to that. And, and I think over the long term, you know, you're going to see invested elite players, and then it just becomes a part of the season's landscape. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.